Hey line hi folks, it's Lev. Welcome back to another video. For those of you who are new, I use team pronouns. Yes, I got a haircut. I got a haircut yesterday. And I always do the same thing, but I just like it. It's yeah, it's light on the head. It's not inconvenient. I like it. Um anyway, today's video is a story. I'm gonna title this video Testosterone Injection, a story of audacity, and this story is from it's about my last testosterone injection. So, at the end of last year, I got my fifth testosterone injection. And for those of you who have never seen me before and this is your first video, hi, I'm a trans man and I'm also pan. But this video is about my trans stuff. I am a trans man and I am just over one year on testosterone. I hit one year on testosterone on January 12th, 2022. Now it's just almost just not yet next wednesday this coming wednesday will be one year and one week on testosterone back to topic i had my fifth injection at the end of last year and when making my appointment um for the injection the the, the reception person told me that my the nurse that who the nurse who typically does my injections will be on leave that day and whether i'm happy for another doctor at the clinic to do my injection for me. I thought yes, okay, because I don't want to delay my testosterone injection and a doctor should know how to do an injection for me. A testosterone injection given that he works in a LGBT specific clinic, right? So I'm just like, yeah, sure, there's no problem. And then I locked it in with the doctor. And I'm, I'm going to put a disclaimer like this video is probably going to come off as being a vent and it is because it's frustrating as hell what happened and that's why I call it a story of audacity. Anyway, go to the appointment, doctor calls me in and firstly, I just didn't vibe with him. Like I felt uncomfortable the moment he called me into the room and that me just being in the same room with him made me feel uncomfortable. And this was my gut instinct. Like I knew nothing about this doctor, never met him before. And then, but my guy was telling me something's off here, and it was right. The first very uncomfortable thing is his small talk. When I told him I wanted to keep the testosterone vial, and I'll show a little bit later when I talk about the next thing. When I told him I want to keep the vial, he was like interrogating me, and he's like, why do you want to keep the testosterone vial? Are you a collector or something? It's like... Actually, he asked me, why do you want to collect a vial? I'm just like, I just like to keep it. And then he's like, are you collecting something? He's like, it felt like an interrogation. I was interrogating why I want to keep my dental testosterone vial. When I tell my nurse who does my injections, I want to keep the vial. He's just like, okay, that's it. Like, the doctor is not there to fucking interrogate me about why I want to keep testosterone vials. That's the first thing. Second thing. I realize I was a little bit shaky at the camera, so I'll try and keep it more stable. Um, so this is what the testosterone vials look like. So uh, for testosterone, I do injections, but there's also gel, there's also cream. So there's different ways people can go on hormone replacement therapy. It's not just injection. So, but I go on injection. I go on Reandron, which is an injection. Um, so this is the vial and the the hole in the front here is where they get the testosterone out. So to get the testosterone out, a needle is penetrated through here and then it's taken out via a syringe and then a different needle is used to inject it into my system. Which relates to the next thing. The doctor was reckless as hell tried to take out the testosterone way too quickly from the vial, knocked over the vial, spilled a bunch of my testosterone, and then was just like casually trying to sweep it off the table as if nothing was happening. He's like, that's not a, it's not a substantial amount of testosterone. And I'm sitting here looking at it thinking, that testosterone is supposed to go on my system, not be on the table and you pre pretending it's not a substantial amount that has been lost from your recklessness and carelessness 
It's like he never acknowledged that like he spilt it in like a apologetic kind of way in terms of it's a accident and it's a mistake. It's just like it's not a substantial amount of testosterone because he noticed I was looking at the testosterone spilled on the table. Fucking hell. Plus this thing ain't cheap. So in Australia there is something called a healthcare card and last year I was on a healthcare card so I got these for a rebate a price otherwise it would be like a hundred and something per vial per like each time I have an injection one vial is used so one injection is like a hundred something I was on healthcare card last year but now I have no more but yeah it's the point is it's not cheap and him swiping it away and being like it's not substantial amount is so fucking irritating I apologize folks I was really shaky with the camera I think it's because I was like moving a lot and I don't have like I'm not using a gimbal and I'm not using a tripod I'm holding it but today I'm just like extra subconsciously extra shaky with the camera I apologize about that um, the third thing so after his poorly executed extraction of testosterone from the vial so another thing is when I do the injections I always lie down on the bed but the doctor he was like so for your injection do you want to stand or lie down I'm just thinking stand stand how, how do you do it with me standing like I'm thinking like the first thing that came to my mind when he asked standing or lying down with his standing option I was thinking is this supposed to be like some weird sexual thing like one I'm gonna have to bend over for you to inject it into me or two you're gonna like squat below me or something and then like inject it up my ass like this way like how do you do it with me standing without it being weird and unprofessional that was my question in my head but I didn't ask him so I said lying down because fuck no was I gonna let him do an injection with me standing and him like me bending down or him squatting below me and looking up my ass like fuck and I'm swearing profanity because I need to let this out like I've told this story to my friends but it's still frustrating so I'm letting out all of my emotional what is it called laying out all my built up emotions in a in a YouTube video I should clarify with the injection of the butt thing it doesn't go into my butt hole literally so it's injected into the butt muscle like the upper butt muscle where there's like a lot of muscle and I think a lot of fat like that area where there's like yeah a lot of muscle and stuff and not just skin and bone that like my arm mostly yeah because testosterone injections are for me it's a deep muscle injection so the needle goes deep into the muscle and it, it, it's injected into the muscle at the deeper level so that's why the butt muscle area is the location of the injection lastly he injected it way 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 too quickly way too quickly and sort of related is he jabbed the needle into my butt and then warned me about the sting of the needle going in you're supposed to warn me about the needle going in before it actually goes in not after it's already gone in and I already felt the sting of the needle it's like that's pretty much useless because I already felt it and you say sting after you already jabbed it into my butt, like... Anyway, back to the last point. 
way too quickly. He did within like 20 seconds. I time every injection. My nurse's injection are always over one minute because it's supposed to be a slow injection, not a fast injection. He did within 20 seconds. My nurse does it for over one minute. I couldn't actually believe it was over. I t he's like, oh, all done now. I'm like, I looked at my, it's only 20 seconds. I'm like, in my head, my nurse always does it for over a minute. You do it for 20 seconds for a slow injection. A slow relative, in, in relative comparison to other testosterone injections. Yes, it's not like, uh, I guess this injection is not like a flu shot where you just go, boop. Or the COVID vaccine where it's like boop, boop, done. Yeah, it it's a slow must. It's a slow injection. He did it way too quickly. Okay. Okay, I know I said that was my last point, but I just remembered another point. So the last time I had my injection, my nurse said that I would need to get a blood test the next before I get my next injection. And the doctor didn't ask me about it, which is okay. But then I did bring it up saying, am I supposed to get a blood test today? And I raised that because everyone, like all the staff in the clinic have access to my medical records. And then I was assuming he would read my last note about my last injection, like the note that the nurse put in about getting a blood test. And I raised it to him, like, am I supposed to get a blood test today? Because the nurse last time said I would get one before my next injection, which is the day I went. And he's like, oh, no, you, you know, I don't think you need to. It's, you can get one the next time or the, the next time after that as in my next injection or like the injection after that and I'm thinking you really don't give a shit do you like the doctor may be knowledgeable about biology anatomy and the the knowledge base side of the medical realm like I have no doubt in that but when it comes to people skills and interacting with other humans in like a me professional medical context based on my experience it's pretty much non-existent that wraps up the video and after me sharing all that I hope it makes sense why I called this the story of audacity because literally everything he did was audacity to me like the audacity to do that the audacity to spill my testosterone and pretend that it's not a substantial amount the audacity to ask me whether I wanted a standing up injection the audacity to not take me seriously when I raised the blood test thing. The audacity to I had another one. The audacity to interrogate me when I when I said I wanna keep my testosterone vial instead of just letting me keep it, you must interrogate me before you let me keep it. It's just really frustrating that some doctors actually talk to patients this way and interact with patients in this sense it's just atrocious to me honestly it's like you're knowledgeable but you don't know how to work with people and that's literally half your job is being able to work with people as well like all your medical knowledge i don't think it's helpful if one doesn't know how to work together with people and support them through things anyway i'm gonna wrap the video up here folks thank you for watching and i will see you in the next video